in this video I'm going to be boiling using embossing folder as a boiling template. I'm using this embossing folder which was a recent giveaway with a magazine. On my Go Press, I have a thin metal shim, and it's made by Crafts 2, and it's 0.3 millimeters thick. It's much thinner than the adapter plate that comes with the version 2 of the Go Press. That's a much thicker plate. It's been warming up for a while. I'm going to be using the rough side of the embossing folder, the side with the ridges. And onto that, I'm going to put my foil shiny side down. And it, it seems easier to put the foil onto the embossing folder because static seems to hold it in place. And then my card and then make sure that the all of the embossed area has foil underneath it. The embossing folder stays open. I'm not actually embossing the card first. I'm just using the ridges as a foiling template. And then this goes onto the go press card first with the embossing folder on top try to resist the temptation to press down too much here it seems to create over foiling particularly around the edges of where you want foil so just lay it on top and let it warm up for just a few seconds, you just need to warm the card and the foil through. You don't need to heat the embossing folder too much. So I'm now going to roll that through on my die cutting machine. And the end of the embossing folder I'm not using just sticks out the end. see if it worked. The embossing folder is warm but it's not overly hot. It's fine, it's not warped at all. There. Although I'm using a Toddo, I'm just using it as a die cutting machine and I've got it set up exactly the same as I would if I was using a normal Couture Creations hot foiling plate in the GoPress. Thanks for watching.